welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please like and subscribe. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will be showing you um, how to put together the bottom half of the stocking. So I did the top half last time. Check out the link down in the description box if you have not seen it yet. So in this tutorial, we'll be putting the rest of the stocking together and I'll show you step by step how to do that. So please keep watching. So we'll be starting off with piece number 24 and then we'll put number 25 on next. Here's piece number 25 and we're going to put number 26 on. And here's piece number 26. And we're going to put, we're going to start on Santa's feet. And we're going to start with the sandals and the toes. And these are the toes that look, look, what they look like before we put them together. And I do stuff them ever so slightly, and I attach just the bottom part. And then we're going to add the foot. Here's piece number 30 which is the foot, and I did put an outline stitch in between the foot and the sand to kind of give it an outline so you can see it. And here is the sandal strap, number 31. And we're going to work on piece number 32, which is part of the chair, and number 33, which is part of Santa. So here's number 32 attached, and we're going to do number 33. And here's number 33, slightly stuffed, just a little bit stuffed, don't overstuff. We're going to work on the pegs of the chair that he's sitting on. We're just applicating these pieces now. And number 36. Sorry, I keep smacking the camera. <laughs> okay, here's piece number 36. These are not stuffed. And then we're going to work on the back of the chair, number 37, which is still not stuffed. And then Santa's hair, which is a little bit stuffed, just very, very slightly. Mm, number 39 is the arm. And the arm is stuffed. I keep hitting the camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. If it gets blurry, that's why. I keep smacking the camera on accident. And then number 40. And then number 41, which is kind of the trim. And notice how most of Santa has a little bit of stuffing on each little piece. So if you're confused on which pieces are stuffed, if it's part of Santa, that means it's probably stuffed just a little bit. And I did put an outline stitch uh, along the arm on that one according to the picture because the picture had it on there. So I'm just going by the picture. And then there's the trim for the second arm. And we're going to work on Santa's face. And Santa's face is also stuffed. And then we're going to put the beard on, and that is also stuffed, very lightly stuffed. We're going to add numbers 47, 48 mustache, and we're going to just attach it in the middle, and the ear, so num number 49 is the ear. And um, for the glasses, I actually put, a, uh, it's cording right there, and then the glasses go right there, so those are the glasses. And I attached them in the middle, like, just like I did for the mustache. And we're going to work on part of Santa's other foot. And we're going to keep stuffing Santa very slightly. And then here's Santa's body. Very lightly stuffed, as you can see. I can kind of move it around still. And then we're going to add the... Um, and there's a, a little part right there, uh, number 52. And then we're going to add the leaves and the flowers to Santa's trousers. And these are not stuffed. These are just applique on with the applique stitch. And I'm just going to continue adding them. Here's the rest of the flowers completely done. And we're going to add the stripe to the side. Santa's all sporty in this one. It's kind of cute. <laughs> so here's number 65. And I'm adding the toes to the other foot, and you're only applying the very bottom of that piece. And then the sandal, this is part of the sandal, number 69. And we're going to add number 72. And then we're going to skip up here and put the little fishies up here. I just want to show you what the fish look like before you put them together. So you don't stuff the fish, you just 
uh, applique them both sides together and then applique it with a few stitches. And you can kind of maneuver it how you like. And then we're going to start down here with the shovel. And the shovel I put together, there's two sides to it, just like the fish, and then I just attached it with a couple of um, stitches. And then here's the sand dune, the sand, little sand dune. And then the outline stitch again uh, on the, um, kind of outlining the, the, the rim of it. Here is the front of the bucket. And I just followed the numbers, so 80 is the bucket front, and then... Um, 81 is the top with a satin stitch, 82, 83 is the boat, 84 and 85 are the strap, 86 was the little strap thing. And then I put the backing on, which is 87, and then I attached that to it. So it's just like, it's not, it's kind of just sitting there. It's not like completely appliqued. It's just a few things. And then here's another um, little sand dune with the outline stitch again on top of it. We're going to add this seashell. Number 89 and 90, and that is stuffed. And we're going to put the little beach ball together. And um, 81, 82 are on the back, and then 83 is the yellow piece. And then um, you put a little bit of stuffing in between, and then put that right there. And I make sure to kind of angle the ball so that it matches the picture. So here's me stuffing it. I just kind of place the stuffing in between like a sandwich. And then I applique it on with only a few stitches. And I do the same thing with the starfish, just a few stitches, front, back, and stuffing in the middle like a sandwich. And then um, another shell, another two shells, the blue shell and the gold shell, same thing, stuffing in between like a sandwich, applique the pieces together, and then applique the little shells onto there with a couple of stitches. And then here is the completed front of the stocking. And I will show you what it looks like when it's completely done. And you can put a name up here if you'd like. So here's the tab that came with the kit. And here's the tab that I made. And the reason why I decided to do this was I, I felt like the tab that came in the kit was kind of boring. <laughs> so I decided to come up with kind of a beach theme tab that seemed more interesting. I kind of like the way it turned out. So here's how you put the tab on. I attached this end to this corner, so the left corner. And I used the same color as the front. So in this case, I used a blue thread. And I'm going to show you how I line my stocking. So I went to Joann's and I bought about a yard or so of white felt to make the lining of my stockings. And what I do is I take the kit backing and I kind of um, use that as a template to cut out the lining so I know exactly what size. And here is the back before I line it. See all the threads and everything. We're going to use the white felt and cover all that up so it looks nice and beautiful. And I honestly don't really iron my lining because nobody's going to really see it. Um, but it's just there to kind of keep the threads safe and everything else. So here's, here's what the lining looks like done. And that's where, um, it just looks so much cleaner this way. Now that the lining is complete, we can put the backing on. And I try really hard not to trim too much. I definitely cut the top because we don't want that to overhang. But um, here's what it looks like with both the backing and the lining. And here's the inside. See how much better that looks with the lining in it? And then that's the end of the tab right there. So I attached the tab after I put the lining on. So I'm excited to show you the final product. And I put it in a bag because I'm outside and I don't want it to get dirty or if I accidentally drop it. So that's what the front looks like. And the back. And I'm so excited about how it turned out. And if you'd like a 
stocking made just for you. Go to my Etsy store. It's actually in the description down below. Click on the link and it, uh, you go to my page and there's a request custom order. Click that button and you can message me on Etsy and we can have a conversation and figure out what you'd like for me to make for you. Um, also, check out any of my links down below that are affiliate links. I do get a small commission off of those. I would love it if you could support my channel. It'd be awesome. Check out my donation link also in, in the description for my GoFundMe for my uh, small embroidery business startup. And I am so thankful for all of my subscribers and my viewers. And I'm loving my channel and all of the people that I get to interact with. And I'm so excited for my next project. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.